Hi my lovelies and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here then welcome and if you're not new here then welcome back. So today I'm going to be doing a look inspired by Barbie and I haven't seen the Barbie movie, I've not even seen the trailer actually, I need to watch the trailer um, because I'm curious because I actually loved Barbie growing up. Like if I wasn't playing with Barbies I was playing with dolls. <laughs> I was very girly as a child. Um, so, yeah, if that is something that you like the sound of, then please just keep on watching. So I'm just going to start off by putting a little bit of lip oil on. Just to get some hydration to the lips. Of course I'm wearing my blonde wig today and my blue contacts. My eczema is acting up quite a bit. Um, don't know if you can see on camera but like I'm having a bit of a flare up. My cheeks are actually a little bit swollen, my jaw's a bit swollen and my neck is going a bit swollen so it's just great fun that it decides to happen when I decide to do a makeup video but it's fine. We'll make it work. I'm hoping that it's not going to affect me being able to actually do the video. If it does then I'm going to be really, really annoyed and upset because I've been dying to do this Barbie look for ages. When I found out that there was obviously going to be a Barbie movie, even though I've not seen the trailer but I want to see the trailer, I'm going to see the trailer. I've just not had the chance to actually look online and actually see it. So I've picked two eyeshadow palettes out for the look because I feel both palettes would work well for the look but I always start off with my brows first so let's start off with the brows. I'm just going to use my Ofer palette just now for the mirror. I just want to keep the brows soft. Nothing too crazy. Very, very simple. I'm going to put all the products that I use in the description below because if I mention all products then they'd be here forever. So I'm just going to do some brow gel. actually very like uncomfortable my neck just now. Do you know what? For now you're just gonna like have me in my wig cap for now because it's because my skin's acting up it's actually irritating my neck. It doesn't usually but it does when I'm having a bit of a flare up right now so need to just do what's comfortable right now. Just gonna pry my uh, pry my eyelids, really. Pry my eyelids. I'm really try to get this urban decay primer potion used up that way I can open a new one. I'm addicted to this stuff honestly. Sun here, like I like that Barbie look, but I don't even like really fully know what I look I want to do. Apart from the fact that I want, I know I want it to be pink. So 
that's pretty bad <laughs> but we'll make it work we'll make it work And with this very light pink. Which doesn't really seem to be showing up on my skin tone. I think it's because it's such a pastel pink. Which that doesn't matter because... You know, that, this would actually be nice for blending shades out on me for that reason, actually. So, I don't mind that. Sort of frustrating, but, you know, that's what it is. I'm going to go into this palette now and go into this shade here. Called Dusty Rose. Same brush. Beautiful. Okay, now I'm going to go in with this very small brush and I'm going to. Sorry, my skin's really killing me today. I feel like crying, I'm not going to lie. Um, Persevere. I'm going in with this pink shade. And I'm just going to go just slightly above the crease. It's a very beautiful pink. Now I'm going to go in with this pink here. Just with a small dense brush and I'm just going to go over that slightly just to help blend it. Um, now I'm just going to go back into Dusty Rose and just buff that out. Going in with this shimmer shade here, which is the shade, it's really hard to see. The, the I don't know why palettes do this, it's called Glow, but why do they write do they write in and white on a palette like this colour? Why? You can barely read it. Okay, I'm not getting the pigment that I want, so I think I'm just going to go into my Ofra Highlighter palette and go for the white. Because I'm not getting the impact that I want. Yeah. Much better. It's pretty enough. Now I'm just going to go in Waterline using the excess product that's already on this brush. Just 
I take this eyeliner I'm just placing it slightly on the lash line but I'm doing it very gently, I don't want it being like a really harsh black line I want it to be like a subtle black line Now I'm taking this eyeliner and I'm just going to do, I don't know if I'm going to do a wing or just like, we'll see. Okay, it's apparent I'm doing a wing. <laughs> okay, now to get it even on the other side. Ow. Oh, that heart. That hurt a lot. Oof, that was so sore. Okay, I'm just getting cotton pads. Just want to clean up the edges of that wing. <laughs> or if you can even call it that. When you do a liner, like one eye works out better than the other. Like that one is so much nicer than this one. Why? Let's just try and see if I can solve that problem. Have I solved it? Still not as nice. That's as even as I can get it. it. Looks pretty even to me. Okay, lash primer. I'm addicted to lash primer, me. It does actually make a difference, so like I've noticed a huge difference in my lashes, like the condition of them. And I, I looked it online, I didn't see anywhere that lash primer promotes la lash growth, but and I don't know if I'm just being deluded and I'm just like, my lashes have always been long and I'm just thinking it, but I, I feel like they have actually, has actually been like, making my lashes grow. But at the same time it could just be a case that I've always had long lashes and I'm just, as I said, deluded. Because, I mean, that really could be the case with me. So I'm going in with this face primer for a little hydration. Actually, is this wise because I'm having a flare up? Um, well, I've put it on my hand now, so. Mm hmm. Oh, I'm dreading this now. I need to start, like, thinking before I do things. Will that ever actually happen? I don't think so. I don't even think my brain's remotely capable of that, to be honest. Um, and now I'm going to go in with this matte primer from Huda Beauty. Uh, just in my T-zone. It says it's matte, but I don't know. 
I've not really noticed it being a fairy matte finish. I would say more satin. It's a nice primer though, it feels good. It feels nice on the skin. Okay, now that this lash primer has dried, now I can put mascara on. So much for me saying I'm not going to mention any of the products. <laughs> Just using bad girl bang mascara, my usual. Try to use it up. I think maybe my mum's took scruffy out because I think I can hear his bark outside. Hmm. He's always barking. All my dogs are always barking. The only one that's quiet is Barney. I always call Barney the best behaved one out of them. Because he's literally like the, the quietest. I mean, he'll bark sometimes, but only when my dad arrives home for golf. Or if he's not, if you've been out all day and he's not seen you, he'll, he'll bark when you come home at you, to get you to clap him. He's so cute. I love my babies. Really love my babies. I'm just going to take this small mascara I got from Timo and do my bottom lashes with it. So it's a really good mascara, this from Timo. I actually really like it. Now for foundation. So, I recently had a Timu order arrive and I got a free foundation with it, which was nice. But unfortunately, the pump's broken. It arrived broken. So, I'm just going to get a cotton bud and get some product off like that <laughs> because well I know I got it for free and that but I don't want to waste like a good product like I don't want to bin it you know what I mean so I'm just trying to get use out of it As you can see, it's quite small in size. It's very tiny. Um, it's only one pound seventy nine on their website, but it's really small. But when you actually think about it, like how often do you actually go through a product? Like being so small actually might make it so that you're more likely to actually use it up. So, I think in a way it's actually quite a good thing that it's small, um, especially if you're like me that's got quite a big collection of makeup, because you are more likely to use it up if it's that small. It seems to be an alright shade, it did let me choose my shades though by the way. Like, I knew I was getting the free gift from them. They do it quite often actually, like if you go in the app, they tend to give you a free gift. Not all the time, but sometimes. And the good thing is, that, as I said, they do let you pick your shade, so I appreciate that. Um, 
just need to spritz this little sponge from my concealer. So now I'm going in with the Revlon Candid Concealer in the shade 022, which is Sand Sable. I really like this concealer actually, it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty good. Straight off the bat with that foundation actually, it's quite nice, um, it's got quite a nice glow to it, which I actually quite like, I don't know if it's meant to be a glowy foundation or if it's meant to be a matte foundation, um, I'd actually have to look on the website because it doesn't say on the product, um, I got it in shade 5. doesn't say if it's meant to be matte or glowy or what, but it's quite pretty. I quite like it and the coverage is actually pretty decent. I would say maybe a medium coverage. It's definitely, ugh, can I even speak ever? It's definitely not a light coverage because it's covered my redness on my cheeks now from my current flare up that's going on. So that's it's good. I would say you could probably build it up to like full coverage because it just seems like that sort of product, you know, like it's quite skin like as well. It's actually quite nice. I actually quite like it. Now I'm just going to contour. I'm just going to contour just now. Again, I'm using this cream contour that I got from Timu. Mm -hmm. It's brilliant, by the way. Like, it, it's just so natural looking. Like, it just looks like a natural shadow. And you really don't need a lot. You need the smallest amount. Lovely. Um, gonna put it in my face. I'm gonna use this from collection. It's the Last in Perfection Shearless Powder. I quite like it. Swirling brush and that there, and tap off the excess because I actually want it to be quite a healthy look to the skin, still. And I've not got any other cream products that I'm using today for this look. I like this powder actually, it's very fine. It's not too it's not too matte. And you can see there's still quite a nice glow to the skin, even though it's meant to be matte. I reckon if I was to actually use more of the product though it probably would be fully matte, it's just I don't use a lot of um does my brain even work? 
I don't use a lot of powder <laughs> when I do use powder. I just bronze a little bit, but not too much because I want the focus to be like the blush and the eyes. But I just I can't like not bronze my face. I'm addicted. Carrier bag just fell. Pick it up there. Try and hide the swell of my neck just now. Joys. Really, really hurts. I'm using my blush crush palette from Red Cosmetics. And I want to use this beautiful pink here. I feel like this would work really well for this Barbie look. Yeah. This is definitely like a Barbie pink. That's stunning. I was actually a wee bit worried that I wouldn't have a blush pink enough for this look because I like pink blushes, of course, but I don't like super super bright pink usually because I'm still sort of getting into blush personally like the blush hasn't really always been my thing my thing was always going to her um, I just sometimes I feel like I, I look like a clown of blush but this is really pretty actually I actually really like this Surprisingly, sorry my camera shook there. I actually really like this pink. It's put a wee bit on my nose. This is really pretty. And I feel like because of the look that I'm doing, We can definitely get away with this amount of blush. It's so pretty. Alrighty. So for highlight, I'm actually going to be doing a comparison video here. So it's I'm going to be doing a TikTok video for the highlight. I will include it in the, this video though. So if you see what you understand why. Um, talking differently. <laughs> um, so I want to start that now. Alright guys, I'm really excited to hear. Okay, um, please excuse the absolute state I'm in mean, right now. I'm currently in the process of doing a YouTube video on a Barbie look, but I had to jump on an Instagram, <laughs> TikTok. I had to jump up on TikTok. I got this palette from Timo. Looks like this. And it's a highlighting palette, and I've of course got this Oprah palette, and I just clicked my finger there, and if you look at it, look at that. Okay, I'm going to show you the comparisons. Just like a drip or what. So I'm going to put it to the test and see if they're similar. Are they as good? I'm curious. So uh, I'm going to start off with the Ofra palette and I'm going to take this pink shade here. Okay. Clean my brush off. With that highlighter. And I'm going to go in to this pink half of this highlighter here. Now it's a lot smaller. Um, that's a lot darker actually than no I need to go over with some of its white. Uh, oh! Obviously it's not as good as the old for highlighter. However, that is pretty decent. 
And I think I paid less than £2 for this from Tina. So if you can afford an Ofa highlighter, you really, really want it either because of how it looks or you just really want it but you can't afford it. Maybe this Tina palette would actually be a good alternative because look at that. I don't, like, this is an Ofa side. This is a Tina side. Oh. Let me just set the face. It's just an Urban Decay. It's an Urban Decay All Nighter setting spray, but I put it in this reusable um, spray bottle that I got from Amazon because the pump on that bottle was broken and I didn't want to waste the product. So, yeah. Right, time for lips. And obviously Barbie has very bright pink lips. I'm hoping that this is going to work for it. Okay, because I don't really have bright lipsticks, like pink anyway. Like, bright pink lipstick is not really my... Thing. So, okay. Let's get the mirror. <laughs> like, I didn't want anything too dramatic. And then a little bit of gloss, which I'm using the I Heart Revolution Heartbreaker gloss. It does it have a shade? No, it does not have a shade. But it's the pink one. Very pretty. That's pretty. Okay, now it's time for the wig. If I can stop scratching. <laughs> Right. Okay, so I got these earrings from Timu as well, but, well, they're really hard to get into the ear. Like, and I can't close them, they're so cheap feeling to be honest, but I can't close them because, um, I closed it on the other side and oh my god it was painful like it, it, I felt like it was actually tearing my ear <laughs> so that really hurt they looked better online to be honest There we go. And then you can't be Barbie without your Barbie sunglasses. What do you think, guys? Hmm? I mean, ah, oh, you bugger, man. Oh. These are really hard, they're so sore, but good for the look, good for the look. I was going to use a wear a bikini, but um, I decided on this outfit because, uh, well, my flare up, so <laughs> I don't want to be showing my body off today. No, it's, it's getting cut to shreds here, okay? But yeah, look at that. That's, I'm, I'm happy with this look. Ooh, Barbie. <laughs> the disrespect. <sighs> Get 
back and met you. See? Can you see that? It's just pushing back. I mean, I know they were cheap, but Christ's sake, I've had P Poundland, earrings from Poundland at Christmas time that's better than this quality. This crap. I mean, come on, you're only for a look. So get back in. Ugh, the disrespect that I'm having off this earring. Disgraceful. Right. Better not fall back out again. But yeah, what do you think guys? Do I look pretty? I think I'd make a pretty Barbie if I actually had blondes and blonde hair. <laughs> uh, I'm actually wondering if I would be... Oh, I'm raged. You couldn't stay in for two seconds. Piece of garbage. <laughs> Your friend's my luck, Timu. Well, not Timu really, but eating. Absolute garbage. I bet this would break in like two seconds. Gets so cheap feeling. Um, but yeah, this is the final look, <laughs> even though the earring's not in. I wonder if I can just like, set it. <laughs> this is a good hack. This is a good hack. Is it gonna just like, sit in the ear? No. so much. I'm such a stupid bitch. <sighs> Can't be bored with this. Not today, man. Not today. Right, please. Maybe I'm going to need to shut this one. That one doesn't hurt to be closed. Yeah, I can't close this one because it, it does actually hurt closing this one because this, they're actually really different. They're really different looking. Like, look at the big space there, right? There's no, no big space there, but whatever. Oh, it's real sore. It's actually, they're, they're actually really hurt my ears, to be honest. Um, look how red that ear is going. That's really sore. Do not buy these from Timu. No chance. But yeah, this is the final look. I hope you all like it as much as I enjoyed creating it. Um, if you liked this video then please give it a thumbs up comment down below, subscribe to my channel if you like everything makeup and have a passion for makeup and I will see you in my next video guys. Bye!